Let's look at how to run commands as the root user. So first of all, I'm logged in as a non-root user. So I'm logged in as the user Joseph. And if I try running something like a CD root into the root directory, it says permission denied because I don't have permissions to do that. Only the root user does. Take a look at my directory. That's great. What if I want to change the ownership of a file? So ch own root root and I want to change this uh, my desktop directory I can't do that either because I don't have permissions as a root user all right so what I can do is I can type in sudo and then the name of the command I want to run as root so you just put it right before it and so in this case I'll do ls minus l root and I can see, once I type my password, that I can look in the contents of the root directory and see what's there. All right, now in order to be able to run this, you have to be part of a group that has permissions. So if I do id joseph, you can see that I'm a member of a lot of different groups, full list, one of these is sudo. Now, it varies from version of Linux version, but if you look at the etc sudo sudoers file, which you can't do unless you have root rights, which you can do with sudo command, if you have rights, you can see the contents of this file. Now, down the bottom, you can see that what it says for this one is that the root user can run all of these commands just fine so whenever root types in sudo it just works doesn't matter what it's a member of also members of the admin group in this case can run it. so this percent admin means the admin group and the percent sudo means that the sudo group can also run things. On other versions of Linux, you might find the wheel group or other groups, but these are the users who can actually run commands as root. So if these things are commented, say this uh, percent sudo line is commented, then suddenly the sudo group would not have access to run things as root using the sudo command. All right, now, <clears throat> if I were to look at which, so say I wanna um, see the password file or see the actual, um, the secure passwords. If I look at shadow right there, I can see I've got these uh, passwords, which is nice. And then I can use that, run it through something and look at it. But you'll notice that the root user, in this case, does not have a password. And because it doesn't have a password, that means you cannot actually switch over to the root user normally um, using some other commands because you don't have a password. So I have a password, and so as sudo, I can run sudo, and it will use my password to verify me. If you wanted to, and the root user had a password, you could type in sudo and switch over to the root user, but then you need to know the root user's password, which I don't know, apparently, because there is no password. But if I was logging in as root, and I wanted to switch over to the root user, I could do that. So I can do sudo su minus, and that will get me into the root account because it's using the sudo to run as root, and then root is actually switching over to the root user, which is kind of an interesting idea, but it drops me in there. That way I can run commands as root, and then when I'm done, I just type an exit, and I can drop back to my regular user again. So these should help you to be able to get into running things as root so that you can do root type operations.